This is IB Times TV. It's Wednesday, August 23rd. I'm Kay Cameron Lau. Using data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, scientists have discovered the coldest class of star-like bodies, seemingly with temperatures cooler than the human body. According to the latest from NASA, until now, astronomers have had little success in their search for these dark orbs, which they call wide dwarfs. Nearly impossible to spot with visible light telescopes, it took WISE's infrared vision to finally pick up the presence of six wide dwarfs within a distance of approximately 40 light years from our sun, which is considered to be relatively close. This image released by NASA is an artist's depiction of what a wide dwarf might look like. Brown dwarfs are substellar objects commonly referred to as failed stars in that they are too low in mass to sustain fusion reactions in their cores, which prevents them from morphing into luminous balls of plasma like our sun. Wide dwarfs are considered to be the coldest members of the brown dwarf family, and like their counterparts, have atmospheres similar to those of gas giant planets like Jupiter. Wise, however, have much cooler atmospheric temperatures, which have been recorded as low as 80 degrees Fahrenheit, or 25 degrees Celsius. And as Wise team member Davy Kirkpatrick explained, previous brown dwarf discoveries registered temperatures similar to those of your oven, but today's wide dwarf discoveries are finding temperatures closer to room temperature. The coolest wide dwarf on record, called Wise 1828-2650, can be seen in this NASA image. This brown dwarf is actually cooler than the human body and is officially the coolest brown dwarf on record. Astronomers study brown dwarfs to better understand the formation of stars and to understand the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system. Since these objects are typically alone in space and cool and fade with time to the point where they're only emitting infrared waves, they're easier to study and void of the blinding light of stars. This artist's conception released by NASA illustrates what the different types of brown dwarfs might look like to a nearby observer. Once the wide dwarf discoveries were made, the WISE team employed some of the most powerful telescopes on Earth to confirm them. By means of Hubble and the Spitzer Space Telescope, they were able to split apart the object's light and scan for evidence of water, methane, and ammonia. As stated by WISE team member Michael Cushing, quote, Finding brown dwarfs near our sun is like discovering there's a hidden house on your block that you didn't know about. It's thrilling to me to know we've got neighbors out there yet to be discovered. With WISE, we may even find a brown dwarf closer to us than our closest known star. K. Cameron Lau, IB Times TV.